everybody, G Bear homesteading the desert, September 5th, 2017. The weekend is over. I've got calls for work back down in Tustin. I've got to get back down there to them. Uh, a couple of emergency calls to take care of right off the top and then some other reserved work that I had behind that has to get taken care of. Anyway, I'll be coming back up here soon to get more done. It looks like uh, there's not that much more I need to do inside the cabin before it's actually move inable. I, as you can see, I've got the trench bur uh, buried here. The uh, water line is completely covered. And I put my little solar panel up here. That runs these motion lights out here. And uh, I can flip one of those over and put, point it inside the shower if I want. But uh, uh, I don't really need it. When, they're, when they come on out here, they light up this whole area. So anyway, another thing I did was uh, just to be on the safe side is uh, I put a strap over the top of the barrels. It runs through the handles at the top so it can't slip off of there. And uh, those barrels are also, the wooden bases on the barrels are screwed down underneath here. And uh, that keeps them from being able to slide off of there. And you can see I've got both valves open right now and both barrels are almost completely full. This one still has a little drip in it. I'm not happy with that, so I will fix that on the next one. I'll just uh, end up shutting off the, uh, the two valves here. And while I'm thinking of it, I've already closed up the motorhome and got almost everything all packed. And I'm gonna come over here and shut off the water main. Ah, there we go. Uh, no need leaving that on while I'm not here. And uh, have that secured. I also have a hose bib here that uh, I could turn on and drain the water down out of the cabin if I had to. And uh, if I also put a water container up here to get through the uh, winter till next uh, spring, I could just connect a small piece of garden hose from that down to that hose bib down there. And uh, I could turn that on and turn the, the valve on and that would feed water into the uh, cabin system. The propane tank is staying right where it is, but there, I've done uh, secured them all. I've shut everything off. I got my outside valve here shut off and I've got the tank shut off there. Anyway, I'm going to take a nice shower here in a minute and head on out of here. Let me uh, go over here because we never did get inside the cabin yesterday. And I'll show you. I got the keys on the door ready to lock up here. I got the covers on the windows on those two sides. That light right there by the TV comes on automatically as soon as controller one um, goes into battery mode. As soon as it, it, it switches over to batteries and there's no more solar power going in, that light will come on and it'll stay on for about four hours. So that get, puts light in the windows here and it looks like somebody's home. Anyway, this window is still open because I still have to come back in here and put my uh, towel and shampoo and stuff inside here uh, as soon as I'm done with my shower. And uh, I will lock up and close this window and that piece of cardboard there goes over it to uh, keep anybody from being able to look inside here. Well, that's about it. I should still wanted to get those um, last receptacles, uh, electrical receptacles uh, into the boxes, but uh, not a big deal. I had other things to keep me busy and uh, I've come up with the idea what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up two more sheets of drywall to at least finish the kitchen and get the cabinets hung permanently so that I can get start stocking them with uh, food and utensils. And then um, these areas of wall that need to be insulated, I'm going to bring up one more bundle of this R13 24 inch wide and that should be plenty to do those areas right there with some left over but that 
I'm going to have an addition going on this cabin. That'll work out. And while I was at Home Depot, I saw something that's going to save me time and money. And they sell these big 4x8 sheets of uh, styrofoam insulation. And they have it at an inch and a quarter thick for only about $7 a sheet, which is cheaper than drywall and a lot lighter and easier to work with. So what I'm going to do is on the ceiling up here, is I'm going to buy that stuff and I'm going to do the whole ceiling for the winter. And that'll insulate the cabin and, and keep it a little cooler in here when, it, when the hot days come and keep it warmer in here on the cold nights for the winter. And um, when I got that up there, it won't go to waste because when I take it down, um, I will use that in the walls of the, um, the outside 4x6 shed that's going there for the electric room and they uh, use it in the bathroom walls and so forth and so on when I finally do put a permanent ceiling in. But if that stuff works really well for insulation and it doesn't look so bad, um, I will probably just leave it and finish the rest of the ceiling on the addition off the same way. It's supposed to be really easy to work with, really easy to cut, and it comes with a special adhesive. You just put it on the seams and stick them together and it becomes one solid sheet. It's got a, a really high insulatory value and it uh, is insect resistant. The, the bugs don't like getting into it and mess around with it. So that might work out great for me and I could uh, have this place pretty much overnight ready to uh, occupy if I had to. So the first two sheets of uh, drywall will one will go there for those cabinets and one will go here so I can get the water heater installed and uh, that jumper I used I tried three different ones and every all three of those leaked so I put two brass plugs in there and there's no more leak. That's all there is to it people. Sink is cleaned. The uh, water bottle now is a water bottle and not a sink bottle. I got an extra five gallons there of potable water and uh, I will start cleaning stuff out underneath there now that everything is connected and uh, start stocking my stuff that I need to put in here. Same thing with these other cabinets and uh, my pump down there is working just fine and if I turn it on the, the water is shut off but you hear it hear it turn on there. It can't go up to pressure if there's no water coming in. It just pumps the water up in. And also, if there's air in the lines, that line that runs all the way over here behind the refrigerator, um, I haven't purged that yet. If that has air in the line, um, it'll act like a cushion so it can't get up to pressure and shut the pump off. That's about it, people. I'm gonna go get my shower and I'm gonna get the heck out of here get home, get unpacked, uh, unload the van with, from my utilities I need up here, and put in the stuff I need for work this week. G-Bear, signing off.